Well with the shutter sitting loosely on the front here you can see that this can be cocked and released. And you might be able to see the action. The plunger works this lever here, rotates this gear here, which cocks the shutter and the release is on this side. So that part's working okay. I wanted to strip this and clean it anyway. It's um, by no means in a horrible state, but it certainly can benefit from cleaning. So I will do that. But I'll need to make sure that I know exactly how the gear is aligned here relative to that rack otherwise the timing will be out and I'll have to muck around with it so looking at that I can see that that arm there is pretty much vertical or close to it I'll take note of that and um, in fact I'll take a picture of it. Right, let's have a look at this. This pinion can go in either way. It's not symmetrical I see. And by that I mean that the line of the tang on the end here is not in a line with the end at this point. So we may have to uh, hit and miss to get that in place. Now in the neutral position here, I'm looking at the angle of that slot at the back. And I'll take note of that. In fact, as before, I think I will take a picture of that. And I'll stop here while I get a photo my record. I should be able to lift that pinion completely out I would think. Doesn't want to lift, what's going on there? Oh well, there's a washer under it and the washer was catching on the shaft and preventing me lifting it out. That's okay. So we've got a disc here, it rotates on there, and we've got a shutter release, it's on this side, that couples to what? got three fixing screws I can see one there's, that's the second one down there and there must be another one here somewhere yes I can see one there one there and one over here now that's in the latched position at the moment position if it, it would be and if the shutter was cocked. I'm just moving this ring around so I can get at the screws, the screw head so I can see one there. Let's get that loose. There's one here. And one over here. I 
I'm hoping this will allow me to lift that plate out. There may be another one hidden somewhere. There's only three by the looks of it. This might work, might be connected through it too. Hang on, something just moved. Something did move. Oh, I've got another screw up under here. So this lever is probably going to have to come out, I think. Oh, there it is. Let's see if I can get to that. Certainly tucked up under here. I may have to lift this lever arrangement off here. A bit reluctant to do that because it may have springs hooked to it that I can't see. See if I can get this screw out by itself first. Can get these two out of the way. Yes, I can. Now I just lifted that screw out. Does that allow me to lift this plate out? No, I'm still still bound by this piece here. I have to have that off whether I want to or not. So there's a screw, and that screw is the post that this revolves around. There's the topmost lever has a spring attached to it. The bottom lever has no spring attached to it, but there's a washer sitting on the top of it, and there's a spacer that sat underneath the lot. So spacer, spacer, bottom lever and washer, and the top washer is held with a spring, and the spring I didn't see where the other end of that hooked to, but doubtless I'll find out. I lift out that plate now. Something's still holding me back. I think I can see a screw still in there. I thought I'd got rid of all the screws. Perhaps not. Let's rotate that. There's that screw there. It's not all the way out. Yeah, it wasn't screwed in, it was just sitting there. Will that do it? This lever here is holding me back. Can that be swung out of the way? No, apparently not. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to peel this chrome, this take this plate off the front, which means lifting the leather to get to that, because that's leather on the Voigtlander, not leatherette. Where's the scalpel?
Yes, there's certainly a screw there. That's a paper disc on there to uh, stop the screw from showing through the leather. That's quite well stuck. Let's do the other side as well. This leather is quite well stuck on this side. Hopefully it goes around that flash boss and the flash boss isn't fitted over the top of the leather. Certainly hopeful. There's one screw. The other one's under here. This was probably the right direction to get into this mechanism and take it apart. Right, that takes that chrome trim plate off the front. Now I can see what I've got here. I can see this lever is blocking me shifting this piece. So if I unhook its spring, I should be able to get that loose. Bring off that post. That's out anyway. Good. Right, let's have a look at this. Oh yes, that was the main spring there was, was holding this. Right, so what I want to do basically was separate this, or at least get it to this part here where I can clean it. It's a bit sticky. You can see this is, is retained by these tabs being bent out over that plate. Um, it's brass. Brass can be tricky. It may be quite simple to get those tabs bent back and put back in place, but it's also just as likely that the brass is brittle and will snap off so I'm not going to take it apart I'm going to clean this as a piece using some uh, naphtha and decide after that whether it needs any lubricant it's certainly got a nasty feel to it it's a bit rough um, probably just grit and other rubbish I would think let's have a look at these parts here well this is the return spring for this cocking action here. It's quite a strong spring and it's just retained in here. This gear here which rotates this piece which cocks the shutter is just a simple lever on a shaft. Nothing tricky there. 
and that would hold it in the cocked position presumably this lever here is for the range finder coupling the pin from the range finder in the shutter pushes against this plate and this plate in turn pushes against what moves this whole arm and up the top here is our adjustment for the range finder coincident images I'm just going to check that these screws are tight I can already see one of them a bit suspect I don't know whether that's tight or not it probably is I'm just going to flush all of these components with some naphtha it's uh, quite funny the arrangement on that thing oh that press is in okay that is sprung loaded that's as it should be it's got a funny feel to it that I used to seeing levers jiggling about like that that'll be for the catch for the uh, plunger I would think okay a little bit of cleaning up work to be done I think that most likely that that flash boss has been fitted after the leather certainly doesn't want to peel up around it easily so I'll leave that in place I can glue that back and glue down the flaps here to cover the screws okay fun and games what can we do here start with this piece get some naphtha flush that as you can see all I'm doing here is I'm working these two components together with plenty of naphtha to loosen up any old grease or dust that's in there and much as with other processes I'll blow the naphtha away so as it leaves it's taking with it any contaminants in the way of old oil and rubbish of that nature and this is already you can probably hear that that is very loose that's running very smoothly now as a result of getting rid of the dust and the old uh, grease I'm looking at the state of this now I can see more of it it looks like uh, light corrosion there on the brass which is hardly surprising like a verdigris I'll flush that once more and blow that out See how that, uh, if I wipe that with a bit of naphtha, whether any of that stuff comes off, whether there's dirty marks there still. If I wanted to get this absolutely clean, I could probably do it in the ultrasonic cleaner, but. Um, I don't think I need to do that. There's certainly a uh, bit of old grease on here still. That's moving well.
I think I'll put a bit of synthetic grease in around that edge. Um, that'll find its way in a bit deeper. It's only con it's it's not it's not contacting under the broad surface here in the plate there because there's a raised lip. This is sitting up on a raised lip. It's only contacting on a very narrow band around the here. You can see the raised lip at this point. So that's um, that'll be fine. That should work well. And putting this thing back together, I want this in from the front. Ideally, I want that lever off because it's um, just a nuisance where it is. I don't want to have to fight around things. So I'm going to undo that screw and remove that lever. That's better. That just allows me to put that plate back in the front without any great fight. And I can see that that had a little space of washer either side. It's interesting. Now all of this stuff needs to be cleaned. I'm not sure what this is around here. Certainly some corrosion there and some something here. I don't know whether that's dried dried out grease. If it is dried out grease, it's gone like concrete. It's a very dry wax now. I want all that rubbish off there anyway before I put anything back in the housing. I'll just spend five minutes cleaning this with a bit of naphtha and you can watch me put it all back together.